everyone welcome back to another pick a card reading here on my youtube channel into the light thank you so much for being here today and clicking on this video so today's reading is going to be about what makes you attractive so what makes you an attractive person what do people notice let's get into it so we have three piles to choose from today we have group one with the rose quartz group two with the moonstone and group three with the selenite crystal so those are your three groups just think about the question like what makes me attractive and let your intuition guide you to your pile of choice all right you can find your timestamps in the description box or the comments down below and without further ado let's get started with your reading i'll see you there all right, so if you have chosen group one with the rose quartz crystal, you found your way to your reading. So what makes you attractive? All right, let's figure it out. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the tarot, then we'll go in with your oracle cards. So we have the queen of pentacles. Make sure you can see everything. Okay, so we have the queen of pentacles. We have the star. We have the Ten of Swords, we have the Chariot, we have all that glitters, all right, we have Sacred Breath and Sound, Ooh. we have Soul Radiance, and we have Boundaries, okay. Also, if you hear a little bit of music in the background, sorry about that, someone's just working out, so I'll try to edit it out as much as I can. All right, so what makes you attractive? Let me make sure you can see all the cards here. There's a lot of cards here today, so. Okay, so first off, I'm picking up there's just like a lot of blue, right? With all of these cards, there's just a lot of blue everywhere, and that's the first thing that like draws my attention. So with blue, it associates with the throat chakra, right? So you're someone that's very expressive, right? You're someone that is very easy to talk with you know people come to you and you provide really good you know advice okay people can come to you and can get some good laughs or get you know a serious talk with you some heartfelt communication you know so that's like one of the things that make you really attractive just how like easy it is to come to you to talk to you especially with sacred breath and sound it literally says again breath and sound and then communication right? So you're someone that is easy to communicate with. And I feel like you're also someone that is really like understanding of other people. And you can really pick up how other people are feeling as well. And you know, sometimes people could be having like not a great day and you'd pick up on that without them really asking or without you really asking them. <clears throat> so that's one thing that makes you really attractive here, which is amazing. Again, you're also Someone that's very stable, you take very well care of yourself, like your hygiene, the way that you look, your style, you know, those things are things that make you really attractive too, because, you know, you take care of that. Um, I'm also getting you're someone that is really easy to get back up again. You know, if there has been times where you really like struggled, felt like alone, you know, you really got back up and you started all over right? You're not someone that is afraid of change or transformation. A lot of you could have had some sort of like glow up or whatever. I know people don't like that word, but like you've grown and just really changed and people have seen that. Maybe you went through something and other, like the people around you have saw that change. Maybe you went through a big breakup and, you know, really recovered so easily. Well, you know, as people feel like you may have covered recovered really easily so yeah and you got right back up again again with the ten of swords and the chariot ending off here it's like nothing like holds you back you're also someone that's very determined um very strong-willed you're someone that thinks very rationally as well especially again because communication is something that's very you know, something that's really attractive about you. I feel like a lot of people do focus on those things. Um, what else do we see here? Also, I'm getting that you have a really, like, I already said you have a really good style, but, like, your hair, like, your hair always looks really cool. You're always trying something new. Like, you're someone that's kind of like a trendsetter, right? You set, 
the the movement, right? Um, and especially with all that glitters here, I feel like there's times where you can really like dress up, get all, I don't know, get like really dressed up and fancy and like just to look different. You know, there's times that you change up your style, which makes you really attractive, like and anything suits you. Like if you were to change up your whole aesthetic, it would really like suit you because you can pull off a lot of looks. That's what I'm getting with this here. Um, also, you could be really great with like communicating with animals or you're just a really nurturing person and you take really good care of like pets. I know it's just coming up because there's a lot of animals here and I keep getting drawn to the dolphin. So also with dolphins, dolphins are really friendly and sweet and kind and that's basically some characteristics about you as well, right? And you're someone that knows how to play and live and, you know, have fun, right? You're not someone that, like, always takes life so seriously. Like, you know when to let go and be free, right? You know how to be in the flow, right? A lot of people see you and believe that you're very radiant, right? So not even just, like, your face. Like, of course, your face is beautiful, but, like, your soul is radiant, right? You're someone that is so like understanding giving loving and you have like this thing about you where again the communication's coming up again but you have this thing about you where you can really say what people need to like hear you know like you know what to say all the time right and it's like so amazing because it's like your soul connects with someone else's like energy and someone else's soul and you can pick up kind of like what that person might need um, and again, with the sword coming out here, I'm thinking of the Ace of Swords, which is clarity, communication, again, another synchronicity here, but we also have boundaries. So you're someone, again, like you're not afraid of change, meaning like you're not afraid to let go of things that don't serve you. You're not afraid to let go of people, situations, all of that. And that makes you really attractive because when you do that, you can be like more stress-free, you know, you don't have drama around you. That's the other thing. You don't keep drama around you, which makes you really attractive too. You could be someone that like is pretty tall as well, like pretty tall for um, compared to the other people around you. Um, there's just very beautiful headdress on both of these two. So again, like your hair, something about your hair, jewelry you know, your style, again, your style is just very beautiful. It makes you attractive here. You guys have really nice noses or like a side profile because there's a lot of side profile here. A lot of people feel like you could be like in a movie, you know, like actress or actor. You just have those looks. Some of you might have dark hair, brown hair. <clears throat> but yeah. Some of you might have short hair too. Like it's really nice because you can change up your hair looks here. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm getting for you guys. That shows group one with the rose quartz crystal about what makes you attractive. If you enjoy that reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see y'all in the next one. Bye now. All right, so if you have chosen the moonstone crystal, you found your way to your reading. So what makes you attractive? All right. Love Moonstone, such a beautiful crystal. Okay, what makes you attractive? So first off, we have the Knight of Swords. All right, we have the Seven of Cups. We have the Hermit. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Page of Swords in reverse. Oh, you guys got a lot of cards here. We have yin, sham, uh, what does it say? Shamanic journey. We have abundance and initiation. Shamanic journey. Very interesting card to get here. Okay, so what makes you guys attractive? What makes you folks attractive? <clears throat> so. First thing that's like coming out to me here, you do have like a good like bunch of colors here, but there's a lot of blues, purple. Um, yeah, mainly blues. I feel like some of you are really shy people. 
like you don't really open up that easily to like new people like it takes you a while even when you have these close friends like it still takes you a while for other people to like see those different levels of you it's like peeling off a layer you know there's so many layers to you and your personality and that's what makes you attractive it's like people kind of think they know who you are and then you show them something else that amazes them right you're somebody that can also be really skilled very creative um very open about um like the things that you've gone through like you're vulnerable like you can have very serious conversations with people um you're not afraid of those conversations either you're somebody that might also be just very spiritual and people can pick that up about you there's like an aura about you very brightness like brightness around you you make everybody like like everybody you meet people tend to like honestly like you you know like when you like first impressions or people actually do like you like you're very sweet you have a very beautiful smile very warm aura about you okay which makes you attractive like it's very easy to feel comfortable around you um getting you're also somebody that is very strong-willed or just really driven it's like when you have a goal or something you go really quickly towards it again you people can be really creative and you have a lot of skills maybe hobbies whatever but you're always creating something new and you're taking charge with it like you take like risk you know some people might think it's a risk to you know post what you're doing online like with your career and some people might say it's a risk to you know put your face out there on social media and like talk about different things but it's like you take these risks and it's beautiful and I feel like as well with the hermit in the middle and the seven of cups this is showing me that you're someone that works really hard and you're just like really to yourself mainly because there's so much going on right but when you want to you know be this little social butterfly you're very charming very sweet and that's also what makes you really attractive here right there's these two sides to you you know the polarities right you're also someone that doesn't really you don't really start drama you don't like talk badly about other people you aren't like very critical you know you're not like judgy right i feel like a lot of you also like you're very like beautiful people obviously but it's like People might expect one side of you, but you show them like differently. Like some people might be like, oh, they look kind of me, but then you start speaking and it's just like, oh, you're like a sweet teddy bear. Like you're such a fun person, right? If you are like feminine, you have a very beautiful like feminine st like um, characteristic or style or whatever. I don't know. But this just makes me think of maybe the way that you do your hair. Something about you is very strong and like, when I think of feminine too, I think about power, right? You have such power about you. You do these things that, you know, emotionally you feel tied to, you feel connected to, you feel drawn to talk about these certain things and make people aware of certain things, right? So there's also this like social advocate about you um, that is really attractive, right? very nurturing and loving and it's like there's so much that you can give like this well hair just reminds me of someone that's just very emotionally like fulfilled right someone that is very emotionally mature as well and I feel like a lot of people see you and think it's so attractive that you have this journey or this quest that you're on with like your life path your dharma like you know and people see you and you're always growing with this thing like there's always like a milestone that you hit and people find it really attractive how dedicated you are to this thing that you're doing in your life right now because you know people see you as abundant and you're you're very abundant you might have like just really nice style really nice hair and people think like you have so much money because of like you just take really good care of yourself your body your soul your health you know you have that abundance of good health good wealth right and again with spirit initiation like a lot of you are very spiritual right a lot of you people think it's attractive how connected you are to the universe the divine to your spirit guides you just look like a walking blessing like you easily manifest it's just really great aura about you right so those are some things that make you really attractive a lot of you again you have very beautiful smiles very nice style um if you are someone that does your nails a lot your nails always look really good your makeup right 
And I feel like, again, you have like a really sweet voice, like the way that you speak to people. Again, very caring, very loving, very nurturing. People see you as rich, like abundant, like luxurious, spiritual, connected, right? So that's what I got for you guys that chose the Moonstone Crystal. Oopsies there. Um, and if you enjoyed that reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see y'all in the next one. Bye now. All right, so if you have chosen the Selenite Crystal, you found your way to your reading. So what makes you attractive? Let's figure it out. Okay, so first card we have is the Magician. I feel like your group has a lot of cards, so... Let's see, we have the Ten of Cups, we have the Lovers, we have the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Cups, yeah, lots of cards. We have the Three of Wands, next we have Regeneration for your Oracle card, we have Twin Flames, we have Clarity, then last we have Passion, or fire fire passion okay so what makes you attractive <clears throat> so very easily you make really close connections like with all people so if you got a new job like it's easy for you to get along with your coworkers. your boss really likes you or you make a new friend and you are someone that they can feel like oh I want to be friends with this person for long term you know so it's really easy for people for people to become friends with you okay so all right that was the first thing I was picking up what also makes you attractive is like people can notice like how easily it seems to them how easily it seems to others that you can like manifest things so it's like you might always just be in a new relationship or you just like always are doing something different with your life you know you're reaching a new milestone it's just something creative that you really do and it always looks like you're having a fun time especially when i see the ten of cups here and the lovers it's like and the Ten of Pentacles, like you're having a good time. Like people think you're having a good life. You're always doing something amazing. It's just like your peak, like you're at your peak. Like this is your year, this is your time and you're killing it right now. Like honestly, you're doing a great job. So yeah, that's what I'm picking up with that. I'm also getting that it's really cool and like interesting because I feel like you're someone that, um, can really like even if you might be sometimes pretty shy or just like you like to have time on your own like you can easily like fit into like different crowds like you can get along with different types of people so you're kind of like a little chameleon like depending on who you're with you know how to adapt to that energy which also makes people around you feel like really safe and comfortable because it's like they feel like they can relate with you right I feel like you can bring like families together like you can bring your family together right um let's see I feel like people just like really like a, you have a lot of admirers like you honestly do like there's a lot of people that have eyes on you that adore you that think you're very attractive um I feel like there's people that have crushes on you and it's like if you reply to them or if you like I don't know, like their picture or something, they get really happy about it. Like they like to see like your name in their notifications. People also just think that you're very attractive. So it's like if you like compliment them or like like anything that they do, it like makes them really happy to know that you, you know, think they're attractive or you appreciate them or you respect them, you know? People also think it's really attractive that you're always on the move like there's a lot of movement here with the three of wands like maybe you've already traveled a lot maybe you've already done some pretty big things like at the age that you're at right now especially as well with regeneration it's like there's something that you're always up to you know you're always growing something reaching a new milestone 
maybe people have seen you like broken down or people have seen you at your lowest and you've really changed and switched your life around. Like you are like a success story. That's what I'm getting here. And like you're going to get like really like a lot more attention, a lot more abundance. So there's going to be more people that are attracted to you and more people that, you know, want to be close to you. So also look out for that, right? You want to be aware of like who is around you for you and who's actually around you just to get some benefits from you, especially with being clarity here and it's like releasing illusions at the bottom. Just be clear of that, right? So even though you can be friends with everybody and you can make like good friends, like not everyone deserves to have a friendship with you, you know? Also, I'm getting like a lot of people feel very like close to you. That's what I mean. Like you have a lot of admirers that can't keep their eyes off you. Like you, they can't like not think about you or not like, you know, your photos or whatever. Like that's what I'm getting with this here, especially with it being under the lovers, the 10 of cups and the 10 of pentacles. This gives me like groups of people that are like, have their eye on you, groups of people that admire you, right? You're surrounded by that. Um, people can also tell that you're very like highly connected to spirit like you have a very high connection to like your higher self as well you're someone that can really self-heal you're someone that can spread knowledge right um it's like you kind of have the soul contract to do these really great things and you're someone that's very passionate about your beliefs and your values you're very passionate about the things that you study the things that you get into right and also with this like people think you're very sexy like very fiery like you have this confidence about you there's courage that just like radiates from you right especially here you're seeing the fire at the bottom so it's like you're always in something that really causes you to upgrade because this is also giving me like phoenix energy like you rise from the ashes right so this is the whole thing with you too it's like people always see you upgrading right it's just very attractive like even like your face your your looks like everything about you you're always upgrading like you just get more beautiful over time right especially even after you go through something like upsetting or whatever it's like you always come out on top a lot of people want to be like friends with you and be like really close with you but i'm getting like a lot of you are actually busy so it's like you don't really have time to like sustain like new friendships you know so you have like close friends around um but more people want to be friends like with you because people think you have really interesting life you're really a sweet person so people want to like be closer with you and have like a closer connection with you. Yeah. I feel like a good amount of people think about like what it would be like to be in a relationship with you because of your lifestyle or just whatever you show online. Like people wonder what it's like to be with you. People wonder what it would be like to be in a relationship with you, to be in a friendship with you. People wonder what it's like to you know, go on these events that you go on, like maybe you like travel to different places. People want to know where you're at, what you're doing, because it's like you guys are always on the move here, right? There's always something new that you want to explore, you want to do, you want to take on, right? And you're always like, again, expanding, you're growing, right? People see you just like elevating and it's just like, damn, like I did not expect that from you, right? Even with your style, like your style is like changing and getting like nicer, you know, you're really becoming who you are. Like people understand and see who you are. People know that you're authentic and genuine, right? People have that clear view of like who you truly are. Um, yeah, a lot of courage, a lot of confidence. Very highly loved, very highly respected, you guys. Again, like those admirers, they're watching you. They're keeping up with you online. Yeah. Even those people that like, you know, don't talk to you or just 
you know, people that might hate on you, whatever, they're still keeping up with you because people are interested in you and what you have to do, your creativity, the things you have to offer, the things that you share online. Like people love like clicking on whatever you share because you spread like really good information, right? And it's just really interesting, like the things that you post, the things that you talk about. So yeah, and you do everything with passion again. So that's what I got for you guys. It shows group three with the selenite crystal. If you enjoyed that reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see y'all in the next one. Bye now.